Hello, Steve White from Steve Arts 89 here. Um, I wanted to do this video last week for Friday the 13th, um, but I couldn't find any of this stuff, or half of it, because I have a lot of stuff and I have to pack it away and sometimes I forget where I put stuff, but I found it, so. This is my favourite Jason Voorhees mask. I bought this from a vendor in a convention. Um, he makes them himself and I just thought it was really good. Um, it's un uncomfortable as to wear, but um, it looks good. And I really wish the uh, straps were leather, but I'm planning to get them replaced at some point. But um, yeah, it looks good. It looks like, looks like the mask in part three to me. So I was happy with that. This one is a cheaper one. I have no idea where I got it from, but um, I kind of liked the color. It kind of felt more like the Friday the 13th part eight mask to me. Um, and the other guy had um, a whole bunch of um, Jason masks. Like he had one from every film and different parts of the film where there's different damage and marks and things. And I really wanted to buy more. As you can see, it's more of a rounder shape and it's a deeper on the mouth. Whereas that one is more like the regular cheap ones that you find and they've just um, painted it. And what I showed before when I was on one of my videos was my making of Friday the 13th books. I got two. This one unfortunately, the first one I got, I read it in uh, one day on Friday the 13th. It's all black and white unfortunately. Except for a little strip of colour, which somehow I managed to just find. Hey, didn't think I'd get that one go. Um, yeah, so it's just got a bunch of random photos, and not the best or most important photos in the book either, but interesting ones. And a few pages of that, and then the rest are all black and white. But there are a lot of photos all the way through the book, so if you get a chance to get this, um, it's worth the read and the look. Because there's a lot of little rare backstage photos that are hard to find. It's actually got quite a lot of colour photos now. I actually have to flip through them single-handedly. Ah, and that's the last one. So yeah, but it's got a lot of photos in it, so it's really good. I don't know, how, what is it, about 150 pages or is it more? Oh, 240 pages. So that's that one. Making Friday the 13th, The Legend of Camp Blood by David Grove. By who? Fab Press. Well, it is pretty fab. And then, of course, we have Crystal Lake Memories, which I'm sure every fan has seen. But um, maybe you haven't. So here's a little quick look for it. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it just takes too long. But yeah, this is black and white and colour photos. It's um, a large size. It's very high quality. It's got some really good pictures that I sometimes had seen in little small pictures in like video store reviews or something in the magazines but in some of the um, Fangoria style sort of magazines but a lot of them I hadn't seen before and some I just hadn't seen a decent size or quality printing but the thing that bothers me about a lot of these books is they don't seem to pick the best pictures for the ones they have full page or half page basically some of the best pictures are still small and just hidden in the um, layout somewhere. Whereas other pictures that aren't as, aren't as important that I don't really want to look at, sometimes get a whole page or half a page or really big. <clears throat> now maybe that's down to the quality of the print. Like maybe that, that should be a full page. Maybe the quality isn't good enough for it to be printed at the full page. Maybe they just weren't paying attention because I want to see that as a full freaking page picture. That's my only complaint with this book and some of the other books. Um, but and some of that is just preference and not being able to please everybody and some of it is them just not really thinking but um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, it's going to take too long but it goes through the whole series all the films <laughs> even the ones people don't count like part 5 which I really enjoy even though I mean Jason is still in the film even if he is just an illusion or a ghost or paranoia or a spirit or something he's still in the film and it goes all the way through to Jason X and the new Jason is Freddy which is that new anymore 
But um, the deals with the remake at the very end, I think, of it. It's the remake. Yeah. Oh no, that's still just for three. I thought they got to the remake in this, but oh well, maybe they've done a newer edition. I thought they got that far. I think they mentioned it, but they just don't have any pictures. And now we get to the last thing. Toys. These are the sideshow ones I bought years ago, which I love. I got Friday 2 Jason, which is just hideous. Friday 3 Jason, Friday 6 Jason. And that's in the Friday 6 Jason box, because um, I still have all the boxes, but I had to put them in, combine them, put them in boxes to take up less room, because I just don't have enough space. Um, part 7 is in there with a Part 7 toy. It's another Sideshow one. And there's another one which is kind of an amalgamation of um, 9 and 8 and 7. It's kind of not quite any Jason. It's kind of a anyone's Jason or everyone's Jason or every film's Jason. I don't know. But um, So they're on there together because they kind of all go together. And then, and that's in the Part 7 box. And then the Part 9 box, I've got the Part 9 Jason. I've got Michael in there for some reason. I thought he was in with Freddy. Um, and that's the little Jason vs. Freddy... Um, Standy, I kind of stole from the cinema back in the day. No, I didn't really do that. I bought it from somewhere, of course. I'm not that sort of person. Um, and of course, Pamela's hiding in there behind everything because, you know, she's the reason it all happened, really. And Norman's in there. I forgot all about Norman. Now I'm wondering who's in the Freddy box? I've got two Freddies, three Freddies. I don't know who else is in that, but yep. Yeah. So that's my little Friday the 13th collection. It's not extensive. I've just got a couple of books, a couple of masks, and a bunch of dolls. But I'm going to buy more, because I do love Jason.